What is up YouTube? Welcome back to JP Breaks. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you're having a great day. Guys, we're back with my favorite baseball release of the year so far, 2020 Gypsy Queen. I actually wasn't planning on buying uh, a whole lot more of this, but my sister, shout out to you, Sarah, gave me this as an early birthday gift. Totally stoked to get this. I love Gypsy Queen, as you guys know. Let's go, let's rip it. I'm excited. Maybe I'll get a little early birthday luck. All right, guys, let's rip into this box. What I did not mention in the intro is that we are hanging out with Breaks with Bradley and Sandora's box. They're gonna watch, comment, do a little color, color commentary on this rip. Guys, what's going on? Not hey, what's much. up, JP Break? What's going on? I think it's fun that we do this. We can watch each other do rips, cheer each other on, egg each other on a little bit, and uh, commiserate with each other when we pull another Whit Merrifield or or, uh, or uh, Max Muncy. But all right, let's go. I'm gonna go through this, guys, relatively quickly. We have seen a lot of Gypsy Queen on this channel, but as I've stated several times, this is one of my favorite products. We're gonna put the chrome on the side for now, and let's just start ripping. I'm hoping to get the matching Aquino or Lux to Mr. Sandora's Jordan Alvarez one of one, we'll see. I'm just gonna kinda go through these. I'm not gonna say all the names of all the guys, and I will do a, boom, uh, a bazooka back <coughs> Inspection at the end. I'll call out the cards I like. I do like Dylan Cease. There's an upside down. Why, why do you do that to me, Tops? Hendrix, <laughs> Hillard, and toes. May. Guys, how many uh, Gypsy Queens do you think we've ripped now? 1,500 packs. 1,500 packs, easy. How many, um, how many hobbies have you guys done each? I've done I'm three so five. far. Yeah, I'm at five. <laughs> yeah, we're we're definitely keeping the Gypsy Queen program going strong between all of us. Yeah, top top shows us uh, a couple hits here and there, maybe hopefully. Yeah, we'll see about that. We are due. I think Sandora's box was paid handsomely from our friends at Tops already, but we'll take more. All right. Yeah, it's very handsomely. Escobar. Oh, here I don't have this one. This is sick. And this is our Philly, Mike Schmidt. Very go cool. Pels. There we go. We're off to a good start. Michael Jack, baby, in the building. That's cool. I don't have that one either. I want that one next. I haven't even seen this one. I didn't know he was in this, to be honest. I completely overlooked it. Very cool. Yeah, I did I did that with a Pedro. I found that when I was going through my cards today. They had a Pedro Martinez. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's a Yordan. Alvarez. There's our boy. We each have a big Yordan hit. He's I been, too. He's been, oh, yeah. well, of course. <laughs> he's been good to us. He has been good to us, Mr. Alvarez. <coughs> oh, here's our first colored card, guys. It's a blue. Are we going to say it's a rookie, or are we saying it's nothing great? I'm saying Bobby Bradley. Uh, how about Tyler Glass now? <laughs> Slightly better than <laughs> That's his number 111 out of 250. Tyler Glass now. Last night in the group break on ABC Needs 123, you got a Tyler Glass now interesting card, didn't you, Breaks with Bradley? Yeah, nice thick cut. It's, uh, it was the whole it was the whole pack. Uh, I think they're called High Def. Excited to see it. Make it maybe like a uh, paperweight or something. But it looked like a cool card. <laughs> At the very least, you can use it as a filler in one of your shipments from eBay. Exactly. So not the best numbered card we're looking for there, but we'll take it. We okay. got. It's weird. Th these I'm turning upside down. Yeah. This is kind of. I haven't strange. seen that as much. Is this Colton Wong's brother or cousin? Keen Wong? I actually meant to look into that, but I would assume so. I'm gonna say it seems yes. like a KK name. <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah, that's uh, I think that definitely makes sense. <clears throat> I like Colton Wong. I also like there Gavin Lux. We'll take that. 
pretty good. As we keep ripping along here, here's I have I have probably twenty of these. That's my least favorite card in the Gypsy Queen. Box. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I think this is the Fortune Teller base. <laughs> Another base Fortune Teller. Guys, if you look back at my video when I first opened this, I didn't open any Gypsy Queen last year or ever, and I got that, and I was like, oh man, this card is great, this is awesome, I was so pumped, and then as the videos go on and I open more Gypsy Queen, the less and less enthused I am with the fortune teller. I think they're scattered around my house somewhere at this point. I know Bradley's girlfriend likes them, she collects them. Yeah. She has them all, if you want to send them our way. <laughs> Use them as a bookmark. <laughs> it's right. a perfect bookmark. It, it actually is a good bookmark. Here's a, this, this keeps freaking me out with these upside down cards. All of them, every pack so far. Here's a Lazardo. This is a cool one. Maybe it's it looks a little different, but so far we're getting all the big rookies. Haven't got Bichette or Aquino yet. No auto. The Michael Jack was definitely the hit. So, and again, shout out to my sister who bought this box for me as an early Christmas gift or birthday gift, excuse me. Really appreciate it. Ain't Christmas yet. <laughs> no one knows what month it is anymore. Honestly, honestly, you're right, dude. I can't believe it's already May. Seriously. Can't believe it's already. They really May. are messing you with these uh, upside down packs. Man. I keep getting excited for nothing. Guys, we've been opening up so much Gypsy Queen, I think in part because of the delay of this virus, and nothing has been released on time. What are you guys looking forward to ripping into what's coming out soon? Any sport? For me, it's Bowman. I'm ready for Bowman to come out, finally. Hopefully it comes out before the prices keep going up, though. I just saw that. It went from $199 to $250 from a, uh, from a, a, a um, pre-buy. Which is... I'll be doing one, at least two. Yeah, I'm definitely going to definitely get some Bowman. That's no doubt there. Here's a... Yes. Another fortune, fortune teller. teller. <laughs> <laughs> we love those. No backwards cards. The upside down cards usually are a good sign. Oh, Nick Senzel. Maybe I'll give mm. this away again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I give it away and I got two back. But I do like Senzel. I think he could have a really nice year. Didn't this guy just get suspended? He just got busted for PEDs. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he did. <laughs> busted. That's a shame. How do you do get busted for PEDs in in the off season like it is? I don't know. It must have been an uh. earlier test. Okay, Riss. Oh, there's. Oh boy. There's Bobby. Oh, oh. we got our first auto. I flipped too soon, and it is my boy Dylan Cease. That's not bad. That's not terrible. Not a bad rookie auto. auto. Of the B-grade rookie autos to get, Dylan Cease is not bad. Or... <laughs> there, there's a lot worse in this set, that's for sure. There is a lot worse. And I like Dylan Cease a lot. I actually have, I think I have two of his autos now, so this will add to the... The unintentional Dylan Cease PC. We'll sleeve this one up, and then we'll keep moving. Yeah. Not bad. Not he should be good on the White Sox, too. I, I like him a lot. I think he'll be good. I like the White Sox. I'm a big White Sox guy coming up for the next couple years. The White Sox are going to be very good. And they finally got some pitching there, too. Giolito's mm -hmm. coming into his own. Who was their free... Who Didn't they sign a free agent? That's pretty decent. I Dallas Keiko. Yeah, think, right? you're right. They did. Kaboom, Hayes, Frankie Lindor, Alcantara. Oh, here's a black and white. Hey, Urania. Oh, you. Thought you're you were gonna get your Yama, 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 Yamamoto PC increase. I would have loved to get that. Urania is, you know, a number four or five guy. It's not terrible, but I would probably pick a hundred guys before Jose Urania <laughs> that I'd want there. <laughs> But that's how Gypsy Queen is, guys. It's just you know it, you know and it. That's a rare. That's a rare hit too. I mean, you don't get those in every pack, so you, or box. So you take it when you comes. <laughs> it's a cool looking card too, the black and white. It is cool. I agree. I do like that a lot. But it is Jose Urania, Chris Bryant, Vado, Gratterall. 
I'm trying to catch that I don't rip through the auto again like I did with the cease. <laughs> Bobby Bradley's fault. If it, it's, seriously, if I get a Bobby Bradley, guys, we're, we're right in the tops. <laughs> we can just turn off the camera. <laughs> right it just would be an incredibly unlikely. Yeah. Actually. Oh, 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 should... oh. Nope. Just getting fooled with this. Better safe than sorry. Here, speaking of White Sox, no more Mazzara. No bounce back candidate there. Uh, I'm thinking. He's still very young. I think he's only still like 23. And I mean, he's got uh, Robert and Eloy covering for him, so I think he could sneak under yeah, the radar. He uh, definitely is in a much better lineup than in Texas. Texas kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. No offense any Rangers fans there. <laughs> Just Ryu, Conforto. Chris Archer, a part of that Meadows trade we were talking about last night. That was bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the Pirates are doing there. Riley. But that's how the Rays stay good now. You're not kidding. They make savvy moves like that. They always seem to be developing pitching. Them and the A's. Mm -hmm. Not like the Phillies. And the <laughs> Yankees just go out and buy whatever pitcher they want. Right, Sandor? Whatever they that want. That is true. <laughs> Castanera, here's Rodriguez, Will Smith, Grisham, yeah. Reynolds. Here's, I think this guy's a sleeper. I think I've said this before, but I like Kyle Lewis. I think he's going to be good. Did a count on him today, and I have about 14 of his rookie cards. So <laughs> oh, right. man. Well, I don't feel as Pretty good. Pretty insane. I don't feel that great about getting that one. I also <laughs> like this dude, Zach Gallen. Tommy Lopes, Tim, Tommy, Ted, whatever, <laughs> Judge, Eshelman. Oh, boy, the nameplate. Kopech? Oh, at least Ooh, it's Giolito. Giolito, yeah. Okay. Giolito. That's not bad. Okay. That's not bad. We'll take that. He's still young, too, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He had a breakout year last year. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's another one of my boys. Yamamoto. I do have the bazooka back of him. That's the only rookie bazooka back I've pulled within the thousand bazooka back packs I've opened. Oh, here Look we go. There. Rhett. Oh, oh, there's my boy. This is the Dylan Cease box. There it is. The, you know, they make an auto of those. We would not be yeah, making fun do. of it if we got one of those. Mm -hmm. Iglesias. No words. Your, no words there. Your boy. Anderson, Castro, we got Miner, Tatis, and Otani. Guys, I'm most excited about this Chrome Topper. I love that. I was just last say time, that. last time, Bradley, you got what did you get? That was that was the Yamamoto, right? The gold. You got the gold Yamamoto. Yep. That's yep. a cool card. All right. Oh, just sold oh. My red Kershaw. What's oh, coming? What's coming up next, guys? Fortune telling with the tarot card. <laughs> the tarot card. Not Ooh. numbered as usual. Ooh. Sandora Box's wife was trying to be a psychic, pulling <laughs> pulling the tarot cards from this set. It looks like have a whole deck and uh, then some. Sandora's box was gonna have a King of Wands walk of Bueller day. <laughs> Mercado Greg. Exactly. Alright guys, I only have I think Probably five or six packs left in that chrome box topper. We have one auto left. Mm -hmm. See another fortune teller in and there. And we got another fortune teller in here. Bogarts, O'Hearn. There's our boy Bryce hey. Harper. Love that jersey. I do too. Michael Jack wore it, I think, a little bit better than Bryce, but maybe <laughs> I'll, I'll eat Give him some time. Yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic. Well, I gotta say, this is probably the fastest I've thrown through a gypsy box. It's Still gotta do your uh, bazooka back checks. That's too. true. There's not much excitement. Here's AJ Puck. Here's your boy. There he is, Polly. <sighs> Another base. Just unreal. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. I guess I got my two numbered cards because I got that black and white. That's true. 
Not my, not what I was hoping for, but all right, Veloria, Bracy boy. So, oh, here's another. Oh, here's the auto guys. We're, there it is. It looks like it's just a base, not numbered. Um, so we'll open that last. Should we do the chrome before that, or do that one then the chrome? That then the. Chrome. All right, I agree. All right, we got Mr. Story Cabrera. Yeah, auto. Yeah, auto and then chrome. <laughs> Just the base de Jong, Morajan, Shed Long, who I hope he's good because I have a couple of his autos. Matt Dias. Last pack. Here's the Lux. One of one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me excited for nothing. Harvey. Here's your boy Max Muncy. Minter. <laughs> Bader. Here's our. Hey! Well, yeah, that's not not great. Logan Allen, Azrubal Cabrera, and Willie Calhoun. All right, guys, we've got our auto and the Chrome pack. Let's do our auto. We got Savat. So, should we? Do, we'll we'll do it last. Confirmed. It is not numbered. So we got Baez, Ray, Mancini. All right, let's play our favorite game. Guess the initials. Austin Meadows? Out of the ball. Austin Meadows? Oh, no. New Nose. Uh, oh, Austin Meadows. Oh, Meadows. Not bad. Good card. Not bad. Nice hit. I'll take that. Two good. I like those autos. Two up and coming studs. One rookie, Cease. And Austin, mm -hmm. Austin Mad Meadows. I think this guy's going to be. A, I really think this guy's going to be an All Star. If it wasn't for a shortened season, I think he was heading that way. Mm -hmm. Boom! Not bad. All right, let's can... let's get into that Chrome Pack. I honestly, I wish that they just made this as a product. <laughs> I would buy it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. All right, here we go. Looks like. So we got George Springer. We got him just a plain blue here. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That is not bad. I will take a Mike Trout to 150 all day. All right, guys. Let's take a quick timeout. Let's sort through these and get ready for the recap. All right, guys, we're back. We just sorted through our hits of this box. Guys, I think I did pretty good compared to some other ones we got. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. Um, what do you think? I love the Meadows, personally. I mean, I think he's a stud. He rakes. I think he's going to be a good player for a long time, eventually on a new team when Tampa can't afford him. That's, that sounds about yeah, right. That was <laughs> Yeah, the Meadows was a nice hit, and also the Trout, too. Um, anything Trout um, sells for a decent amount, so that was actually a good hit. I think so, too, guys. I appreciate that. Usually I'm biased here on my own show, so it's good to get your opinions here. Here's the rookies I like that I pulled here. We got Lazardo, Lux, Alvarez, my boy Dustin May, and Dylan Cease. So those are just some of the highlight rookies amongst the many we pulled. Some of my particular inserts I liked. Here is a Tyler Glass now. This one is to 250. We also got this Jose Urania. This is the black and white card out of 50. Number 25 out of 50. Not the greatest player, but still a pretty hard card to pull. Our missing nameplate was, was Lucas Giolito. And our logo sw swap was Colin Moran. Not the best guy to get there, so whatever but this was awesome really like this card a lot this is a mike trout this came out of the chrome pack this is number 129 out of 150 i'll take this all day one of my cooler um parallel pulls from gypsy queen this year and then probably my favorite of the inserts maybe tied with the trout is this michael jack schmidt this is the high number card and i am getting closer and closer to completing this set um, but as the guys talked about, the hits of the box were these two autos, um, the Dylan Cease rookie. N neither of them were numbered, which is, you know, not great, but still I think I got some good guys. 
I really like Dylan Cease. Very happy to pull that. And I really like Austin Meadows. This is an awesome pool. I will take this one all day. So that will wrap up today's break. Thank you for watching this video and for checking out my channel, JP Breaks. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can be alerted of our newest videos. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, at JP Breaks, for updates on new videos, my top pools, and subscriber giveaways. Until next time, this is JP Breaks. See ya.